The Target 12 investigators now with the latest on the signature scandal that has shaken up the race for Congress. Today, the Rhode Island Board of Elections voted 5-2 to two to review all signatures tied to nomination papers submitted by the Sabina Matos campaign. The board met unexpectedly this afternoon after rejecting calls for such a review just last week. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie was in the room for today's meeting and joins us live outside the Board of Elections in Cranston with how this all played out. Alex? Well, the motion to re-examine the signatures was proposed by the board's newest member. He argued that Rhode Islanders have lost faith in this process, and that's why a full review is needed. Another twist in Rhode Island's congressional race and Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos' run for the open first district seat. I'd like to make a motion to direct the Board of Elections staff to review all of the signatures for the papers submitted by Sabina Matos all the nomination papers. Rhode Island Board of Elections member Randall Jackboni said after thinking about the board's move last week to not further investigate questionable signatures on nomination papers submitted by the Matos campaign, he feared it would make people lose faith in the election system. I do think it's important for us to take a closer look at the signatures related to this case. Board members voted five to two to take this next step. The board was saying that this is unprecedented though, right? I've never done this in the 26 plus years that I have been here. A spokesperson for the Matos campaign issued a statement in part saying, quote, we too want to understand what transpired in our nomination papers and we look forward to hearing the results of this review. BOE Chairwoman Diane Medeiros voted against examining the signatures, saying Matos is already on the ballot and arguing the signature verification process ended on July 21st. The ballots have been printed and mailed to overseas voters and early voting begins next week. I can't support any measures while well-intentioned to revisit the signature verification process and the investigation into the process of collecting those signatures is in the appropriate hands. Now, the Board of Elections executive director told us that he didn't have an update on that criminal investigation, but on 12 News at 4, my colleague Kim Kalunian, Kalunian spoke with the attorney general about the joint investigation he has with state police. He said he does not expect to bring any charges before the September 5th election. I'll have more from that interview coming up on 12 News at 6. With the Target 12 investigators, live in Cranston, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.